So for this particular exercise, um, I'm going to be designing a string at this um, earth over here. So I'm just going to draw in a parallel line from the existing earth boundary at a 5 meter offset. And I'm trimming that line neatly. So I just have to click on the correct side of that earth boundary. This is going to be the position for my platform. Always have to be careful that you click on the correct side and closest to the line. So I'll zoom in a bit there that you want to offset from. Okay, and then I'll just have to manually trim the start and end points. So just these are just standard CAD functions that I'm using. So modify trim and trimming those two lines to meet neatly. Okay, so next up I'd like to use a polyline to define this terrain string. So I'm just going to convert these existing lines that I just drew in to a polyline using the line to polyline function. And yes, I can delete those existing CAD lines. Okay, and then I'm changing to the terrain application to design the string. Just before I start with the terrain string, I just want to show you this graphical elevation tracking. Um, you can interpolate levels or view levels on any surface or a design surface and a terrace surface. And then we've added a few a new functions there, inserting a DTM point, adding text to your drawing and then outputting that information to the output bar. So I'm just going to show you, if you look up at the top left there, there's the elevation as you move your cursor over those surfaces. I'm just checking the road sort of levels um, from the bottom there up to the top here. So right in the middle over here, I'm going to insert a level. Okay, so that's the adding of the text to your drawing. You can also do that um, with this new graphical annotate elevation, which pretty much does the same thing. Okay, so I'm just inserting these levels just to give you an idea of what um, level to use for my platform top. Um, you can also use that um, graphical pull down menu to annotate a slope. All right, so next up, I'm actually going to go define my string. So it's the pull down menu, strings pull down. You can define your string in various ways, graphically by selecting individual entities or from DTM um, break lines or points. And then in this case, I'm using the polyline that I've just created. So a string from polyline. It'll prompt me to select the polyline and I'm just going to leave it as string one in this case. Okay, and then the elevation that I'm going to use is 1366, I think, just to give it a slightly higher level than the road um, to the top side. So different ways of setting up for height. Um, you can do interpolate from a surface as well. And you can also set your chainage interval for the arcs if you haven't got an arc in your perimeter. I get an option to define another polyline, but I'm not going to use that in this case. So just right click and quit. Okay, so I've just selected my string and just verifying that it is now a terrain string at the correct Z value, so that 1366 elevation that are assigned to the string. And then we're going to go create the banks for our platform. So it's string creation create child. And then always important to click on the correct side. You get prompted for which side. So you can go to the inside or the outside uh, or both, but initially only obviously one side. So I'm clicking on the outside just to create my banks for this uh, particular platform. Okay, so the operation type um, selection, you've got a grade with a horizontal and a vertical offset. You've got grade to surface, vertical horizontal offsets, and then horizontal offset to elevation or grade to an elevation. 
So in this case, I'm going to use the grade 2 surface just to create a normal bank for my platform. So grade to surface. Specify your surface to grade down to and then your cut and full slopes. So I'm just initially going to use 1 in 3 for my cut and my fill. And I want to include the strings model. So any existing terrain strings or road string would be taken into consideration. And there it is, um, your child string has been created. I'm just going to switch on my banks in the properties bar. And then just clear so you can see the cut and full areas. So up top here, we've got quite a bit of cut. And then down towards the other side, we've got a bit of full. So your short bank lines are always on the higher side. Okay, so next up, what I want to do is just show you the, the render view, but I just want to change some of my settings here just to make it a little bit clearer how the road and the terrain string platform interact. So I'm just switching off some shading so we can clearly see the, the platform with the banks and then the road with the banks. Okay, so I'm just right clicking and doing a render view and then I'm going to zoom in. So that bank now has taken into consideration the road that is running behind the, the platform. So when it um, intersected with the ground at that 1 in 3 slope, it looked at the, the DTM and then where the road was, it's actually intersected with the road as well. So you can see that line is tying in neatly, that bank line is tying into the actual road bank line as well. Okay, so that is my render view. I'm just going